Three, two, one, go. At CES this year, we expected to see a lot about self-driving technology, and there's plenty of that here. But we're also hearing a lot about the way cars can communicate with each other and with infrastructure. These technologies are known as vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication and vehicle-to-infrastructure communication. You're going to be hearing a lot about this type of technology because recently the Department of Transportation has proposed a mandate for these V2V -V and V2I chips to be included on all passenger cars in the next few years. General Motors has announced that the catalog Cadillac CTS for the model year 2017 will have this technology built in. And there's a lot of suppliers, from companies such as Delphi and Suvare, which are showing off the way that this technology works when the vehicles are operating in close proximity to one another or driving through the streets of Las Vegas and interacting with uh, connected stoplights and other infrastructure. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications can have real safety benefits. If cars are approaching each other and might be about to collide, the systems communicate with one another and warn the drivers to stop or slow down to avoid the collision. The vehicle-to-infrastructure technology can communicate with things like stoplights to inform the driver if they're about to run a red light. These systems can also warn you of things like people crossing the street or an upcoming construction zone. So as V2V and V2I roll out, they have a great potential to make the roads safer, but they're also going to have to do it with privacy and data security in mind, since these are literally broadcasting information about your car. For more information on V2V and V2I, go to consumerreports.org.